Warren Buffett, a name synonymous with investing wisdom, has a portfolio that has made headlines for decades. Among his many successful investments, there's one stock that often stands out, embodying his legendary approach to long-term value investing. As we approach another earnings season, the question on many investors' minds is, is this the time to buy into Buffett's crown jewel? Berkshire Hathaway, the conglomerate of giants. Berkshire Hathaway isn't just a company, it's an empire. Over the years, Buffett has turned it into a powerhouse that owns some of the most recognizable brands in America. From the ubiquitous Geico and the beloved Dairy Queen to the energy giant BNSF and the essential Duracell, Berkshire's portfolio is as diverse as it is robust. But more than the companies it fully owns, Berkshire is famous for its substantial stakes in other major corporations. This includes titans like American Express, Coca-Cola, and Apple. These investments reflect Buffett's enduring belief in holding strong, profitable companies over the long term. The evolution of Buffett's stock picks. Buffett's stock picking strategy has evolved over time, particularly as new blood has come into the fold. Todd Combs and Ted Weschler, investment managers at Berkshire, have steered the firm into newer territories, most notably the tech sector. This has seen Berkshire taking significant positions in companies like Apple, Amazon, and even Brazilian fintech New. This shift represents a notable departure from the traditionally conservative sectors that have long defined Berkshire's portfolio. But does this mean Buffett's strategy has changed fundamentally, or is it a reflection of an evolving market landscape? Portfolio adjustments. Trimming the old, embracing the new. In the first quarter of 2024, Berkshire Hathaway made some intriguing portfolio adjustments. The most headline-grabbing of these was the trimming of its Apple stake, a rare move given Buffett's famous admiration for the tech giant. Selling 116.19 million shares might seem significant, but Berkshire still holds a massive 789.4 million shares, keeping Apple firmly in its grasp. Interestingly, Berkshire completely exited its position in Paramount Global. The decision to sell all 63.3 million shares was attributed directly to Buffett, who candidly admitted to taking a loss on the investment. Berkshire also reduced its position in Chevron, another stalwart of its portfolio, now holding about 122.9 million shares. This adjustment might raise eyebrows, but it's part of a broader strategy that has seen Berkshire increase its exposure to other energy sectors. Doubling down on energy, the Occidental move. One of the most significant moves in recent times has been Berkshire's growing stake in Occidental Petroleum. With regulatory approval to purchase up to 50% of the company, Berkshire has been steadily increasing its ownership, now holding about 28.5% of Occidental. This move has sparked speculation about Berkshire's future intentions. At the firm's annual meeting in May 2023, Buffett stated that Berkshire is not going to buy control of Occidental, but the growing stake suggests a deepening commitment to the energy sector. Adding to the intrigue, the once mysterious stock that Buffett had been quietly acquiring turned out to be insurance giant Chubb. With nearly 26 million shares now in Berkshire's portfolio, this move strengthens the firm's already formidable presence in the insurance industry. Technical signals. Is Berkshire Hathaway a buy now? Berkshire Hathaway stock has experienced some volatility recently, slipping below a key buy zone after reaching all-time highs. The stock is currently testing its 21-day exponential moving average, with the 50-day moving average remaining a crucial support level. While the stock's relative strength line is holding steady, it's important to note that it remains off its 52-week highs. A relative strength rating of 78 indicates that Berkshire has outperformed 78% of stocks in price performance over the past year, a respectable figure, but not extraordinary. The stock's performance in recent years has been solid, though not spectacular. In 2022, while the broader S&P 500 suffered a 19% loss, Berkshire managed to eke out a small gain. However, 2023 saw it lag behind the market, posting a 16% gain compared to the S&P 500's 24%. So far in 2024, the stock is up nearly 20%, outpacing the broader market's 12% gain. 
Berkshire's IBD composite rating of 87 out of 99 reflects strong overall performance, particularly in earnings, where it boasts an EPS rating of 95. However, with Wall Street projecting a slowdown in earnings growth, 10% in 2024 and just 3% in 2025, the question remains, is now the right time to buy? A mixed bag, Wall Street's outlook on Berkshire Hathaway. Wall Street analysts have been closely watching Berkshire Hathaway, particularly as it gears up to report its second quarter earnings. The general consensus is one of cautious optimism, with expectations of continued, albeit slower, earnings growth. Berkshire's first quarter performance was impressive, with earnings per share rising 41% to $5.19 and revenue climbing 5% to $89.9 billion. Operating profit also jumped 39%, driven by gains in insurance underwriting and investment income. However, total net income, which includes investment gains and losses, plunged 64%, a sharp decline but one that was less severe than anticipated. Buffett has long urged investors to focus on operating earnings rather than net income, emphasizing that the latter can be heavily influenced by market fluctuations that don't necessarily reflect the company's true performance. The Cash Pile, Berkshire's War Chest One of the most striking aspects of Berkshire Hathaway is its massive cash reserves. In the most recent quarter, the firm's cash pile reached a record $188.99 billion, up from $167.6 billion in the previous quarter. This enormous cash reserve provides Berkshire with a cushion during economic downturns and positions it to seize opportunities when they arise. The firm has already begun deploying some of this capital, repurchasing $2.6 billion worth of its own shares in the first quarter, a notable increase from the previous quarter. Buffett's approach to stock buybacks contrasts with his more aggressive acquisition strategy during and after the Great Recession. However, with fears of an impending recession, Berkshire might be poised to make more deals if attractive opportunities emerge. Analyst perspectives, what the experts are saying. CFRA analyst Catherine Seifert recently reiterated her buy rating on Berkshire Hathaway, raising her price target to $488 ahead of earnings. Seifert highlighted several key areas for investors to focus on, including Berkshire's progress in improving GEICO's underwriting results, trends in commercial insurance and reinsurance pricing, and the firm's capital allocation strategy. Seifert also pointed to the importance of Berkshire's equity portfolio management, particularly in light of recent sales and the outlook for its economically sensitive units like railroads and housing-related businesses. Berkshire Hathaway's Diverse Operations Berkshire Hathaway operates across four main sectors, each contributing to its overall strength. Its insurance group, which includes Geico and General Ray, is a major profit driver. The regulated utility business group, which includes Berkshire Hathaway Energy and BNSF, plays a crucial role in the firm's earnings stability. The manufacturing service and retailing group is home to a wide range of businesses, from Fruit of the Loom to Dairy Queen. Finally, the finance and financial products segment includes a variety of companies involved in leasing, proprietary investing strategies, and credit services. The future of Berkshire Hathaway. One of the biggest uncertainties surrounding Berkshire Hathaway has been the question of succession. Buffett, now in his 90s, has finally named Greg Abel as his successor. Abel, who runs the non-insurance businesses, has been with Berkshire for many years and is widely respected in the industry. The timing of the leadership transition remains unclear, but investors can take comfort in the fact that Buffett's choice is someone who has been deeply involved in Berkshire's operations and is well-versed in its unique corporate culture. Is Berkshire Hathaway stock a buy? As we approach Berkshire Hathaway's next earnings report, the stock presents a compelling, if complex, opportunity. On one hand, it offers exposure to a diverse portfolio of businesses that have demonstrated resilience in various market conditions. On the other hand, the stock's recent performance and the mixed signals from Wall Street analysts suggest that it may not be a straightforward buy for every investor. Why some investors might hold off. Some investors might be cautious given the recent trimming of Berkshire's Apple stake, coupled with the firm's exit from Paramount Global. 
These moves could indicate a more conservative outlook from Buffett and his team, possibly signaling that they're preparing for a market downturn. Furthermore, the slowing earnings growth projections for 2025 could be a red flag for those seeking strong, consistent returns. Additionally, while Berkshire's significant cash reserves are reassuring, they also suggest that the company is struggling to find attractive investment opportunities in the current market. Buffett's reluctance to make large acquisitions or increase his stake in Occidental beyond a certain point might indicate a lack of confidence in the market's near-term prospects. A decision based on your investment horizon. In the end, whether Berkshire Hathaway is a buy ahead of earnings depends on your investment horizon and risk tolerance. If you're looking for a stable, long-term investment with a proven track record, Berkshire offers an appealing blend of strong fundamentals, diverse holdings, and prudent management. However, if you're seeking rapid growth or are concerned about potential market headwinds, you might want to wait for more clarity following the earnings report. The decision to invest in Berkshire Hathaway, like all investments, should be based on careful consideration of your financial goals and market outlook. Berkshire Hathaway stands as a testament to the power of disciplined, long-term investing. Under Buffett's leadership, the company has navigated countless market cycles, always emerging stronger. As we approach the next earnings season, the question remains, is this the ultimate Warren Buffett stock, the right choice for your portfolio? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Berkshire Hathaway will continue to be a cornerstone of the investing world for years to come. Whether you choose to buy, hold, or simply watch from the sidelines, understanding the dynamics of this iconic company will provide valuable insights into the art of investing itself.